Well, hello everyone. This tutorial is an addition to the data validation course. I recently had a user who asked me if we could do dynamic drop down lists that could roll down the page. So I wanted to explain how this is done and to show you that it's a little bit of a awkward process, but once you get it set up, it's not too bad. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is rename our sheet tab so we'll rename this sheet one to main don't have to do this but we're going to do it for our example okay so we've got our main sheet and this is going to be the sheet that we'll be displaying for our users or our clients so the next thing we need to do is have a hidden page to do all our working out on so let's go down the bottom here and it says add sheet we'll click this little plus button and double click on the name and let's just call this notes and hit enter all right so the first thing we want to do in our notes is for our drop down menu here we're going to have two drop down menus so the first one in this column a of our main sheet is going to be our first selection in column b we'll have our second selection and that'll be dependent on the choices that we make in column a so if i have something here and then i select it then the, the choices will change um, based on this selection in column a and this will change all the way down the column. So let's head back to notes. And the first thing we wanna do in column A, we'll just call this options, right, option one. And then just to make it explicit, we'll say dynamic for column B one, dynamic option two. And we'll just double click between B and C to expand that out. I'll make this super quick and easy so we don't spend too much time on it. Okay, so we just want uh, three sets of uh, options here. We'll call the first one one, and we'll do it three times. One, one, then two, 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 oh, two, two, and then three. Cool. So when this becomes a drop down menu, it will only make a list of unique values. So it's going to be one, two, and three. Okay, so you won't have a list of one, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. It'll just be one, two, three. Sweet. Okay, in column B, we are going to put in our second set of dynamic options that are based on these option one here. Just to make it clear, we'll say uh, one dash A, one dash B, one dash C, and then we'll say two dash A, two dash B, enter two dash C, three, you guessed it, A, three, dash B, three, dash C. Awesome. Let's bold these headers. I'm just holding shift down A1 to B2, control B. Then I'm holding uh, shift down again to get to and clicking on cell B10. And we'll put a little border in there and we'll expand that on out here. Double click. Cool. Looks pretty. Nice. So now we have our options. So if the user selects one, we want to display in column B a list, this list here. If the user selects two in column A of main here, then in, column, in the corresponding column, we want them to be able to select from this list here. If they select three in column A and column B, we want them to be able to select from this list here. Nice. So the next thing we can do is set up our column A back in main. So let's head back over to main, back in main now, and we'll give it the heading option one and option two. And we'll make them bold and we're good to go. So the first one, we can do a big long list here, but let's just keep it short and sweet. And let's make it go from say row 2 to row 12 so it, uh, row 2 to row 12 here and i'm selecting the range so just click a2 hold shift down to a12 and let's get to our data validation if you've been following along with the course you're a pro at this now so right click down to the bottom data validation and you can see here we've got main A to a12 so we double check that yes that's correct list from a range is exactly what we want and we need to enter a range of formula. Well, I'm going to click this little uh, grid box here, and this will allow me to select a range. I'm going to go back to notes, and then I want to just select this A2 and drag it down and to A10. And you can see I've got this range here. I will click OK. 
Okay, we want to make sure we have our drop down menu and you can make it uh, reject input or show warning. And if you want some notes there, go to town. So, first thing we want to do is make sure that this is all going to be the same range as we go down our main list here. So, we need to lock this in, and we can lock in ranges by putting a little dollar sign next to them and this is called an absolute reference and you can see this down in the notes here use absolute references and so on so let's uh, put some dollar signs in there there we go so a dollar sign so dollar sign a dollar sign two and we'll do the same for this and that means as we drag our data validation down the sheet it's not going to move in our list from range notes range Okay, so we've got everything else done. It's all locked in place. We can hit save now. Okay, so let's just test that. Now we've got a little list here. We've got one, we've got two, and three. We've made that one one. Let's just drag this down. Okay, I'll just, just change a few here. And I'm changing a few here because I'm going to test something in a minute, and this will help me with my testing. Okay, so got my option one sorted out. We could continue dragging this down for. 100 rows if we wanted to but just for now we'll just keep it short and sweet so our next step is to head back over to notes now what we need to do now is to be able to provide every time we make this selection here so one we need to have a drop down list saying 1a 1b or 1c or if this one is 2 we want this drop down in cell b2 to say 2a 2b 2c and so on all the way down so each time there's a new selection in column a cells it needs to change the corresponding option here in column b so back to notes so what we'll do first we'll head over give ourselves a bit of space from here head over to column e and let's just type in cell ref so this is just a cell reference just to make it easier for us to understand where everything is going and we'll just reference A2 here. So I'm just typing in some text A2 and they'll go A3 and let's see if this will update automatically for us. We're just going down to 12. Oh, look at that. It does. All right. So it's all updating and we'll just delete that last one there. We don't really need it. And we'll make this bold because it's just a simple reference. This reference here in column E is not going to have any effect on the formula that we're going to use to create this dynamic drop down. It's just a quick guide for us to see where everything is. So let's go over to F1 now and put in a header and we'll call this selections for column B, uh, main. So it's the main sheet, right? So this one down here. So we'll make that B because it's just a header. And now this is where the magic happens. So what we need to do is create a formula that will give us a list of all the, op all the corresponding options in the selection of A2. So this is our A2, so we need all the options for one in a list that runs across here. And then we need all the different options for A3 because we can see in our cell A3 here, we only need the options for two, okay? So we can do this first with a filter function. So we'll go equals and fil uh, filter and open up our brackets. And first thing we need is the range that we want to display. And that's going to be column B. So from B2 all the way down to B10. Now if I left that as it is and I dragged it down, it's going to change. So if I drag this down to here, it'll be B3, B11. We don't want to do that. So we want to lock it in, make it absolute again. So I'm going to use the shortcut F4 to do that. And then I'm going to hit comma. And next is, as you can see here, it is the condition. So our condition is we want A2 all the way down to A10. And again, lock that in with an F4 to make it absolute. We want that equal to the value that's back in our main here in A2, just like that. So we want that to be equal. So this is going to be one. So what this is saying is anything, anything that's equal to one here, we want it to be, be able to display B, uh, column B. So we've got one, one, one here. So that means it's going to display uh, one A, one B and one C. 
cool that's our filter done now if i hit enter here and display it it displays vertically which is a problem because we don't want that appearing in uh, the next row down we want it appearing across so to fix this issue we can use something called transpose so let's just type in transpose and put a bracket around our filter and close the bracket off here and that will allow it to run horizontally across our sheet now we can drag this down again and it will be somewhat happy but if we drag it past the point where there are no values we're going to get an error so you can see this na here well we don't want na to be appearing down here if we're dragging things down so let's just fix that up i'm going to control z and i'm just going to put in a little fix here where it says using an if statement so we'll say if so we want the main a2 if it's blank we don't want to do anything so we'll say if main oh, main exclamation mark a2 equals empty then we want to keep this cell here empty otherwise we want to do our formula and then we'll close it off with another bracket oh, did one too many and then we we'll hit enter so now if we drag this down well past the values that are on here we're not going to have an error so let's drag it down bang good to go so if we wanted to add uh, more to say three if we've got another value three here and we wanted to add that on later then it will expand further out along this horizontal horizontal row all right let's head back over to main now and let's update our dynamic drop down list so we're going to select the same range so we're going to hold shift down from b2 and then click b12 and then i'm going to right click and down to data validation and this time we want to enter our range of formulas. So let's click this little uh, grid again and head back over to notes. I'll move this out of the way a bit. And I want to select this range. And just in case I, I add more options in the future, let's extend it out to M, for example. So I'm going to hold the F2 and drag it all the way across to M. Note I'm not dragging it all the way down because I'm going to do something with this in a moment. So we're going to click OK and we're done. Now, we can make use of these little dollar signs again by locking in certain values. Now, we don't want to lock in everything. We only want to lock in the column. So if I lock in the column here, but I left the two, when I drag this data validation down each row, the data validation is going to check the next row, corresponding row down. So let's hit save and see what happens. Okay, so let's go back now, and now we've got our little list, and if you can see over here, also, and I didn't mention this earlier, but you can see these have changed, and these are now ref have referenced the column A. Now, if I've got my options here, this one should be just one A and B and C. So I'll click C, for example, and we've got column two here. Um, so we've got two A, B, and C. Yeah, that's what we want and three oh, look three again another one's a one good and so on okay and we can click those all the way down to the bottom and we would be very satisfied I have to get the completionist out in me okay done okay so that's it uh, this should be the final tutorial on data validation unless someone comes up with something interesting for me to talk about in the future if you liked the tutorial, hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more, if you want to see the write-up on this tutorial, there'll be a link in the description below. Okay, until next time.